As I note that my colleague from Rhode Island is here, and, and I know he, too, wanted to address this important issue. Senator from Rhode Island. Thank you, Mr. President. I very much appreciate uh, my friend, the Senator from Alaska's remarks. This is truly a, a bipartisan concern. There are senators on both sides who feel very aggrieved uh, by what took place. Uh, senators from Alaska and Maine uh, on the two sides of the country and a great number of, uh, of us. The uh, sheet that rests on the front table during the votes to make sure that people coming in know what the measure is that we're looking at describes the last vote as passage of H.R. 152, the Disaster Relief Appropriations Act of 2013. Not the Sandy Relief Appropriations Act of 2013, but the Disaster Relief Appropriations Act. Well, we've had a disaster. We didn't make this up. This wasn't something that got snuck into the bill or that we tried to uh, do an earmark on. The governors of Rhode Island, of Massachusetts, of Maine, of New Hampshire, of New York, of Connecticut, six governors petitioned the government for a fisheries disaster declaration, and they got one. The Secretary of Commerce declared the New England multi-species ground fish fishery disaster. Senator from Alaska described it as a drought. It is like a drought. What's happened in our waters is that the waters have warmed. They've had some chemical changes. Fisheries have moved northward, and some of them have moved clean out of the U.S. continental waters. The result is that Georgia's bank cod, yellowtail flounder, Gulf of Maine cod, and haddock and yellowtail flounder have all had to face draconian catch reductions to try to keep those species alive. We have a fishing tradition that goes back even longer than Alaska's, I'll guess. Uh, certainly, we started fishing back in the 17th century, in the 1600s in Rhode Island. It is a long tradition. But the changes that we're wreaking on this planet are moving the fish around and they are creating these localized disasters where our fishermen, who've worked hard all their lives, who've invested their life savings into expensive boats that they have to take care of the maintenance and the repair of, and they risk their health and their lives and their limbs out at sea in all kinds of weather in order to bring the catch in to us. And when the catch isn't there, it is a disaster. That's what the governors asked for, all six of them. That's what the United States government, through the Secretary of Commerce, declared. So why on earth the fisheries disaster that affects our fishermen doesn't matter? It was $150 million. It was not a big piece in a $60 billion bill. And yet we got left out. We got completely left out. And I will continue to fight to get this done. I think there's been a wrong committed in this body, and I intend to make sure that it gets righted. I will work hard with the senator from Alaska. I see that the senator from New Hampshire, who's equally affected by this, is on the floor. It makes no sense to let people in the House of Representatives pick and choose among disasters in a bill and strip out disasters that have been declared by the United States government and the governors of six states. Do they know better? I don't think so. But they took it out. And for whatever reason, we weren't able to get it in back here. I've had strong conversations with some of the supporters of the, lead supporters of the Sandy Bill from the states that most benefit, with the chairman of the committee and the floor manager of the bill, and with colleagues from nearby states. So this is not over. But I am extremely upset that we would pass something called a Disaster Relief Appropriations Act and leave out of it the disaster that has befallen fisheries up and down the East Coast, from Maine 
down through New Hampshire, through Massachusetts, through Rhode Island, through Connecticut, through New York. That's a pretty wide-scale disaster. And for the men and the women who go out and put their boats and put themselves at risk for this catch when it's not there, you bet it's a disaster. It's just as much of a disaster as a farmer who looks out at parched fields and can't grow what they need to grow. But we're not there for them. Not when it's fishermen for some reason, we're not there for them. We've done it before, over and over again. We, uh, since 1994, federal fishery failures have been declared on 29 different occasions. And nearly $827 million has been appropriated for relief, but not now. For some reason, not now. So I'll yield now to the Senator from New Hampshire. I know feel strongly about this. The Senator from Massachusetts uh, was speaking with me earlier. She feels very strongly about this. And uh, we need to get this set right. This is a day for celebration in some quarters, but not in all. And for those of us who have a responsibility to the men and women who fish the seas off of our states, this is not an acceptable result. I yield the floor.